Dr. Fizz here on the Taylor series, extremely important in all branches of physics. We have a function f of x, which we have expressed here in terms of a power series, powers of x with coefficients. We are going to match the function by picking cleverly the coefficients as if we were a sculptor. We do this by picking x to be 0, which kills off all the terms except a constant one, and then we set the constant a sub 0 to the value of the function evaluated at 0. And the trick is to take derivatives of the power series. For example, if we take the first derivative, the constant term vanishes, and we pull off an a1. The derivative of x squared is 2x, so we have then the 2x with the a sub 2. And the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the a3 goes for the right, and so on. Now you can see by picking the zero value, putting putting in zero for the derivative of the function it kills off all the terms except a sub one, and in that way we determine a sub one. And we continue with the second derivative, taking the derivative of the derivative, the constant term, which is now a sub one, vanishes and the derivative of the linear term gives us 2a sub 2 and the x squared brings the 2 down so we have 3 times 2 with the a sub 3 and now the x squared has been reduced to a linear uh, x and the next term is 4 times 3 a sub 4 x squared and so on. Picking x to be 0 kills off all the terms except the first one and therefore we set 2a sub 2 to the second derivative evaluated at 0. You get to see the pattern here. The third derivative would bring down here, you know, 1 from the x, x to the 0, basically knocks out the x to be 1, and you have 3 times 2. I like to write this with 3 times 2 and the 1 in there so that we can receive that as 3 factorial a sub 3. It helps us see the pattern that's emerging by taking subsequent derivatives and setting uh, the x to be 0 and you find that setting the nth derivative to 0 helps us with the a sub n term. Notice the n factorial in front. So when I solve for a sub n, the answer is the nth derivative evaluated at 0 divided by n factorial. I can write this then in a compact form. Our function is equal to the sum of the powers of x with the various coefficients. And these coefficients are found by taking the nth derivative of the function, evaluating it at 0 and divided by n factorial. Very, very powerful. Here is writing it out in a different way without the summation uh, convention uh, to summarize it in compact notation. We actually write out the terms and do the dot 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 notation. This is also called the Maclaurin series and it's a specific case of the special uh, general formula of the Taylor series which allows you to write f of a plus the, the first derivative evaluated at a then times x minus a. A good exercise for you to do here is to first find the Taylor series expanded about x equals 0. That's this case up here, the Maclaurin series, for some functions. These are very important functions in physics. 1 plus x to the quantity to the nth power, cosine of x and sine of x, and e to the x. And another practice problem here to do is to start with a power series where we have x minus a to the various powers instead of the x and for you to show specifically the general case using the same kind of reasoning that I did before by taking derivatives and evaluating the power series at various places and here you would use that x equal to a instead of x equal to zero. Sign off for now. See you at another review.